Hello, so I'm here to review some more liquid chalk markers. Um, I've recently gotten some because if you've seen any of my other reviews, it's because I went to Target, bought a bunch, and I hated them all. So I've been actually buying quite a few on Amazon because I actually lost my last set already. And these are the ones I got this time. Now obviously these aren't all the colors in it. I have a few out that you'll see. I really, really like the packaging. I just really, really love it. I love the rainbow look on the front, and I like how it shows all the things you can use it for. And it says, we free your imagination. It says you can use it on whiteboards, which is very interesting. I have a whiteboard upstairs. I actually have two. Glass and windows, also a really great idea. LED boards, bars and restaurants, great business idea. Um, school, home, and art. It says, shiny neon, fluorescent colors, water-based, non-toxic, dry and wet erasable, bullet and chisel, and... Um, obviously for chalkboard so like this gives you some really good ideas of obviously where to use it and I have some great ideas now um all the colors are really really bright that it comes with the colors that I'm going to demonstrate now are going to be um, the green you can see there I'm also going to do the ones that not everyone um, all the packs come with that's black and brown and then the white, because I feel like the white's really important to see how well it um, writes. Alright. And I was actually... Okay, yeah. So these labels I'm going to use are smaller. Now, when you first use your chalkboard marker, they take freaking forever to get the liquid chalk out. That is with all chalkboard markers. So it did take me quite a while, and that was really annoying. Another thing to know is that on this packaging... You'll see here at the end, it says, let me see if I can get it in focus. Maybe not, nope. Well, anyways, it says um, to be very careful when putting the lid back on because the um, putting the lid on can damage the tip if you don't do it correctly. Obviously, I'm annoyed that that's not focusing. Ugh. Anyways, so I thought that was interesting. I actually had not seen that before. And I don't know if it'll focus on that. Oh, it doesn't really matter. You'll see that um, there is a little round piece in the middle. And then, like, I don't know, the grips or something on the side. I'm actually surprised how easy it is to actually hit the side of these. Um, so you do really actually have to be careful when putting these lids back on. So I guess that would be a con, but that's really the only one that I've noticed thus far. So I have my um, liquid already filled out for these. I didn't want to get put you through that painful torment. So here we go. That writes pretty nicely. It did have a slight gap right there in the T's. You can see, I'm assuming I just didn't have... Um, chalk there. Yeah. I just didn't have chalk there. Now, to try the other ones. Here's the white. I'm sure you guys can see. That white, that writes pretty smoothly. Here's the brown. I was very interested to see how this one goes, and it goes on right how I wish it would have. You see how nice that is, how smooth the color. I think it's just like perfect. It's very bright for a brown. Now, the black I was also very curious over, because most chalkboard things you're going to see are black. So I wanted to try it on here. I'll try it over the white. You guys can see this. So it actually does show up on the black. Obviously, I think this is one that will be better to use on a whiteboard or so. So there's that. See how pigmented that all is? And I'm going to actually go get something and we're going to try erasing it. Alright, so it says that it is both wet and dry erasable. And I was very curious over this. So I have a dry paper towel and I have a wet one. And I'm going to try erasing this. That actually does come off. It does smear a little bit. But look, you guys can see it coming off. Okay, it smears a lot. <laughs> That's that black. Um, I have some marks down here that are older. And those are coming off dry too. Not that well though. 
So let's see. Yeah, okay. So, verdict? Yes, it comes off dryly. Um, doesn't mean you should necessarily take it off dry. It comes off, obviously, a lot easier with water. So, there's that. Alright. So, overall, I'm very pleased with these. I would say the thing you want to be careful with the most is the cap. Because putting these back on a little, um, a few times, I hit the top. It's not going to focus. I'll put it down here. You can see they're not as pointed anymore. They're a little bit more already kind of rough. So be careful with that, you guys. Let's see how the black is. Yeah. You can see where I hit it on the top. All right. But other than that, I think they're great. I'm, I'm going to go take a few pictures of me using them on the whiteboard and everything. Um, but I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments of my review and I will get back to you.